So what is up bosses, it's your boy Boss Fabod, and welcome back to Five Nights of Freddy's. 12 Faz tokens and 7 VHS tapes are the only two things stopping me from 100%ing Five Nights of Freddy's 8, also known as Five Nights of Freddy's Hell Wanted. Vanny, Vanessa Glitchtrap is not here, invisible today. I guess he might be here if we switch over to this. I'm sure that maybe this guy's still going to be getting closer to me when I get the tokens and... VHS tapes. I've called it coins so many times, I'm really going to try not to call it coins anymore because it's wrong. It's like suddenly saying, oh, I've got seven cassettes left. It's not a cassette, it's a VHS tape. Very freaking different. Coins and tokens are also, I guess, look exactly the same and are pretty much exactly the same, but they still have two different names. Okay, yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through FNAF 1. I know that there's three tokens in there, so begin. Until I find the three ghost tokens, which I'm almost certain that I do have three tokens in here, I continue playing. So we know there's one... Or I know there's one in the cupcake. There we go. Oh yeah, I already know. Yeah, I've got this one. There's a one. There's one in the drawer here. We see that's ghost coin. And I know 100% I've got the one. So we need to wait until the one spawns in the monitor. By 100% guaranteed no, I have that one. So for NAF 1, we've done. I guess maybe what I could do... Instead of doing all of the tokens and then all the VHS tapes, let me load up a wiki of all of the VHS tape locations. And then if it says, oh, there's two VHS tapes in FNAF 1, I know that there's still one VHS tape to get in FNAF 1. I think that would be easier to make sure I know I've 100 percent in FNAF 1 with tokens, VHS tapes, all of the nights done, stuff like that, rather than doing it all twice, essentially, I guess. Okay, so one VHS in FNAF 1 we've got. The next VHS is actually in FNAF 3. So we go over to FNAF 2 now. There are three tokens here. I know there's one here. I don't think I have three. I think the one spawns on the table here. So I think this is night one, so I don't need to really do anything. So there's one behind the camera buttons here. And I think that must be one that I've got. So the one, I, I guess, no. What, what I want to do, because... So the coin, the token that I don't have, I need marionette walking down the hallway. So I guess I want to go into... It's not night five. I can't do night five because that's the that's not with... Mar I don't think... It, that might be with marionette, actually. I don't know. I'll just go into night four to be safe. I guess that would be pretty much the one that marionette would be... The quickest one. I just got to make sure the marionette does walk down the hallway before I die. Because night four can still be a challenge if you're messing about and not really playing the game. So I need Marionette to walk down the hallway. And I need to get the coin, I guess, before I die. Okay, Marionette's there. Oh, oh no, you're not there. There we go. I got it. Get the coin before I die! Thank you! I have the coin, I guess I can see the jump scare. That was a cool jump scare. Well, I freaking ruined it by pressing the button accident. I need to put the mask on. That would have been a cooler freaking thumbnail for episode number two. Oh, well, that's fine. We got it. FNAF 1, 100%. FNAF 2, 100%. So I guess we now move on to FNAF 3. And there's three tokens and one VHS tape. I know I've got one VHS tape. I know I've got one token. <laughs> I don't know about two tokens. The VHS tape was there. Hey, okay. hey glad you came back for another night. Is I there a token I can get straight away? Is that a coin there? Oh my god. Jesus. Okay. Insane. There we go. No wonder I didn't see it before. That was literally barely visible, that one. Okay, so I went ahead and just read the description for this one, and it's very obscure to realize. Like, you have to enter a code hey, hey, on a keypad hidden night. behind I the vent I'm monitor. Oh my god, really? How would you ever know that? I guess just because you know that in FNAF, or people that are playing FNAF 3 know the whole, like, the keypad over here. They used to, like, I, I know the keypad, like, I did that in my FNAF 3 video. Like, my actual Five Nights at Freddy's 3 video. I think I messed this up, yeah, it's taken very long time to come back, so I'm just going to restart. 395248. So I guess 395248. Insane. Like, I read it, and I, I read only appears, and I was like, okay, here we go. There we go. Done. FNAF 3 is done. Dark Room's next. 
what have we got in dark rooms? I guess now it's specifically going to say where the things are. Only one in the Nightmare BB level. Okay, so I've got that one, yeah. Above the fan on the ceiling room, yeah, okay. The player stares at the fan for a while. I have that one. Any... Yes, there is a VHS. Plush Baby's level. On the Funtime Freddy plush, yeah, I've got the VHS on the Plush Baby one. Funtime Foxy's level. On the left wall of the Funtime Foxy level. So, okay, with, with Funtime Foxy, I guess I just have to walk... So this is a VHS now. I guess I just have to walk directly to the left of the wall. And this is just the normal Funtime, Funtime Foxy, Foxy is one. motion so. activated. For this reason, it's should be important too to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate VHS her. number 9, You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings, and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. I can actually see it glowing there. There, there is, I see it. Yes, yeah, so, so this is where a door should be. Okay, you're there. I just want to get the VHS. Give me the VHS, how am I not close enough? Gee, give, give, thank you, Jesus! Where are we go? There you are. Come and get me then. You're angry, aren't you? You're very angry. I love that. Very satisfying that I know that I can just mess about with the animatronics and if I die, who cares? I'm too good at this game that I'm gonna restart. I'm so good that I press circle rather than square. I'm gonna do it all again because I know Foxy that I can do it with my eyes closed. I probably freaking can't, especially with this one. I mean, I guess... With this one doing it with it your eyes closed that means on you just multiple don't occasions hold. now, you have disappeared from the authorized boundaries of the Fazbear virtual experience. How we would I ask know? that you not do it again. I am very sorry. When have I disappeared from... I guess specifically going to get that VHS tape? Probably wasn't an authorized area. So I guess with Dark Rooms we have the VHS now. But we don't have... Yes, we do have... Okay, Dark Rooms again is 100%ed. Parcel Service next. Decent. But we got four of seven 100%ed. Parcel Service Bonnie has three. And I don't remember if I specifically... Yeah, no. All four of them, apart from Foxy, I know I have three. So Bonnie, Welcome Chico, and Freddy, I have two. Service. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of if I have to do something specific to get it here. Okay, we're going to do that. Oh, there. I guess it did need to be actually three specific notes. Hello, Bonnie. What's that I can press? I can press your slight upper lip, apparently. Very strange. Not entirely sure why I could interact with that part of you. There we go. Bonnie is 100% complete. Chica has three coins again, so we know 100% there's one coin I don't have. Only appears when the player feeds Chica a piece after finishing the repair session. I know what that means. Like at the end when you have the pizza, you have to feed Chica some. She doesn't want to eat the pizza that's on her, because that's on her, that's freaking disgusting. Man, cool. Eat it. Perfect. Oh, okay, no, I don't, I don't have a... yeah. Eat it. I guess I can feed you all of them. Oh, yes. Oh, my Chica. Forever? Unless there's a VHS, actually. But I've already got a VHS. Oh, wait. I think there's still one coin on Chica left. Because I would have got a VHS tape. Yeah, I, I think we need to go back into Chica's one. How do I get to Come that one, then? To parts and service. Oh my god. There have been customer complaints Jesus. about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds god, some of these Chica coins, man. My god. Okay, I'm glad I went back in there. I realized, wait, I got... that. There's four things then, and I only got two last time, meaning there's two left to get. Okay, now we move on to good old Fredbear. Here we go. Two coins. I know I got one coin and one VHS here as well. Did I get a VHS here, actually? I got one... Welcome back to parts yeah, and under service. Freddy's left it thigh. Looks like yeah, one I got a VHS tape, a like, here. Item on our star and I got attraction. one coin. And it should be... Over here somewhere. Oh, okay. Well, then. I think maybe because I threw away a specific music box that I might have needed, or maybe an actual music box, because I, I don't think all of them are music Welcome boxes. Back. Carefully, there we go. grab and remove the child's head from Freddy's mouth. That's all of them. Hell yes. Freddy is done. Now Foxy... I think I've got all of Foxy's ones anyway. To the left of Foxy on the floor is a VHS. I don't think I've got a VHS actually on Foxy's one. So maybe VHS in Foxy. VHS in Foxy, specifically parts of service. 
vent repair now. One that I didn't do that great on. So, Mangle has one coin. Yeah, which I've got. I really don't think I've got this one though. Well, no, actually, may I might have, yeah. I might have this one. I mean, I clearly do if it's not here. Okay, well, in that case... Wait, no, was there was a coin there as well. Or is that the one that it's talking about? Inside a small space of the right vent where some gears can be seen. Yeah, that's exactly what that one's talking about. Um, Yeah, the second group of puzzles in Enna's level. So Enna's level is actually the one with the gears. Like, the gears that you move around, yeah. I got confused as to what was in each one. Okay. So Mangle's one as well is 100 percent it. Now move on to Ennard's one. Which Ennard has two coins and one VHS. And the two coins, I think I've only got one coin. It's the middle Nightmare Fredbear mouth. And then between the first and second group of puzzles on the hard mode vents level inside Bonnie's left eye and the player's right. I think I want to go for that one. On the right here. That's not that's not Bonnet though. Yes? I didn't get it! Why? How did I still not manage to get it? Oh, yes, I don't- No! Oh, yes, I got it. Oh, might actually still be able to look up that way and get it. I saw Freddy's hand then. Okay, yeah, well, I, I know it's not there anymore. Where is this one? Oh, it does if you continue- Oh, because I see... I mean, again, something that probably might be quite obvious, but obviously if you don't know about, like, gameplay or something like that, then you probably won't know. Because I skipped the dialogue at the beginning, it skips the the freaking elevator or the lift moving to the first puzzle area. So it turns out, when you skip the dialogue in this, it actually skips out Welcome moving to the elevator Baby's the first time. I did think that I remembered the elevator moving the first time. I had to unfortunately watch a video on this one. I guess the, the only video that I've actually watched for one. I just didn't know even what version to play, like the normal mode or the hard game. mode where the hell it was, no because I, I just couldn't find it. Yeah, here we go. Of the In the middle. Service elevator, but the comfort of the main elevator is well above your There is? Radio. Got it. Decent. Now. That's how freaking simple it is. I will say that guy was playing the VR version, and he was playing it upside down, which I thought was quite clever. Vanny's not here anymore. Vanny's very, very close now. I guess only Night Terrors left. Not this specific Night Terrors, the Pizza Party. I guess, I mean, there, there is definitely stuff in Pizza Party. I didn't get a single thing in Pizza Party. Night Terrors, Circus Baby is the first one, but on VHS maybe? Night Terrors, on the Shell Pine the Player and Baby's level, okay, yes. So Circus Baby is actually the first one. Nothing at Funtime Freddy, nothing at Night Marion. Thumbs up game, very much so appreciative of that, I don't need to do them two again. Circus Baby, there's three tapes, or three, three tapes, three tokens and one VHS tape. One token there. One token here. So I can, I, if I press L2 not looking it, it quickly flicks me back over to that screen. Did you have a gift for me? Okay. I see you there. I see, I see the, um, the VHS, but I didn't even see shelves up there the freaking first time. I don't think I even looked up there. I just didn't consider it as being a thing. I saw the VHS as well, literally at the back of my freaking head. If I put my head back an inch, I could probably just smash into it. Want to see this thing? Right there. Very freaking obvious. Go on then, baby. What will happen if, if I just keep it open? Do you just immediately attack me? Oh, you do immediately attack me. Okay, fair enough. I didn't know if she would just stand there for a bit anyway. That coin as well. I mean, I guess that coin... That coin is probably naturally... Maybe not, because it's obviously right next to a place that you would look. Like, other coins have been near places that you just wouldn't think to look, right? And that's what makes them a lot more difficult. So I'm going to go into Nightmare Fredbear just straight away. This is the second to last place where VHSs are. I will just have a look now, though. I guess I just go over here to Stai, maybe? Or let's just see, like, one time he appears. Okay, I can hear him. So we now go over here. And there's just a VHS here. Yeah, not here. So it's done. Was he actually in the... He sounded like he was in the, the, um, the closet then, maybe. Oh, there's three tokens I need left. I thought I needed four. Okay. It says one that I'm missing then. Because there's two in the, um, the Night Terrors. There's two in the Night Terrors and one VHS tape. How many VHS tapes left? I genuinely don't know. I know there were seven before the episode. There's two VHS tapes and three coins. And in this... 
pizza party, there's one VHS tape and two tokens. How annoying is that? I keep switching between saying coins and tokens. Tokens is the correct one. Coins is me reverting to just saying coins because coins is usually what I say with these things. Oh, there's one in the gallery. There's a token in the gallery and a VHS tape in the gallery. I forgot the gallery was a thing. All right then, here we go. The last thing, I guess besides the gallery, which is still something brand new. So we don't need to go in there. We're not beating it. We don't need to worry about that. No, we do need to- we do need to beat it, never mind. Is it this way to get to the FNAF 3 office? No, back to the beginning. It's on the left still. I'm pretty sure it's on the left- the left door, right? It's gonna be this door then. No, it's straightforward, yeah. Even before I knew that I was in the wrong place, I know it's straightforward. Whoops. An open vent there that I can't go to. Oh, there's one here as well, actually, I think. In here. On a gift box of the player's right, after the player enters the left door in Plus Trap's room. Okay, well, I don't want to die here. Oh, Marionette was actually coming out then. Is Marionette out now then? Here we go. In here. There's one in here. Let's see if I can just find it. This is a bit more embarrassing, actually, like, trying to find it. Oh. It was very difficult to find. Do you trust me? Oh, there's you there! I didn't even see any of these things. Oh! You're open. I guess that means that freaking... Springtrap was about to kill me, maybe? Okay, where where's the other one again? Um, on a gift box of the player's right after the player enters the left door in Plus Trap's room. Let's go back to Plus Trap's room, here we go. The right. And then it should be right here. There we go, got it. Perfect. <coughs> Wonderful. And we've now done, we haven't done it yet. No, we need to actually finish it. I do have this one. Oh no. Where's the one that I don't have then? It's just there next to the pizza box. I'm sure that I had that one, yeah. Oh no. I have actually messed up. Because there's still two VHS tapes, right? Oh wait! Oh my god! Okay! I need to replay the title! I completely forgot that there was a VHS tape on the title. Here we go! So what is up, welcome bosses? To the it's your boy, Fazbear Boss Fat One, and experience. welcome to the beginning of my series of Five Nights at Freddy's Hot Wanted. Here we go. Way to do that this is the brand new Five Nights at Freddy's game. Virtual reality this is experience. Security Breach DLC, whatever it's called. I forget what it's called. Well, the freaking title of the video now. Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a I bad reputation for the last few decades. Tape. It's just on the rail here on the left, right? true that some stories associated with our Such name cool were mostly based well. on actual events. The majority of them were total fabrications from I the mind of a complete lunatic. Watching people play this and then like but questioning why you could replay the title. Ha, ha, why can you replay ha. the title one? That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios. I wonder if there's anyone out there that actually got the VHS tape first the try, but then saw people were going back to replay the title to get the VHS tape and thought that that was that the one that they missed as well. In the hopes that we can finally move past these childish ghost stories God, I'm happy and I don't develop a new relationship with you, as well as your kids. I just look through the entire video, like I started watching the video and realized, wait, I haven't got you. Thank you. We do, however, now we can... ask that you agree to a simple waiver before to, yeah. you play. Oh, we can it's read this again. Just Welcome to the first Bear Quality Assurance Team. Before we can officially congratulate you on your fabulous lifetime of graduation, you must first read the simple waiver. Our lawyers have come out with a way to save you. Just touch the button to agree, and, uh, and then we can play jump right into some harmless fun sense. that can't okay. harm you at all in any harmful way. Thank you for playing the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. No longer is it your turns, please. Please up now for safety purposes. You you close good. You agree to terms of present. You may press the button. Remain in touch for sensing things. things. We'll, we'll let, let's know the you intent to the okay. Great. Entertainment yes. is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transference. Real world manifestations of digital characters. We have almost nightmares, 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 nightmares. One VHS tape and one token left are stopping me from 100% in the game. How close? Oh my god. Very close now, aren't we? Extremely close. I could put my hand out and we could shake hands, mate. You're that freaking close to me. What does that do still? Does Showtime work? No. I mean, I still need to work out what to do with this button and what the Showtime button does. I need to go to the gallery now. There's one coin and one VHS tape in the gallery. Oh, wonderful. Hello. Where are these things? In the drawer, maybe? There we go. 
every coin. And we can now get the last two trophies. Not 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 me not, not me smartest. Yes, exactly, is what that's called. And celebrate. There we go. That is the trophy to unlock all trophies. We have a hundred percented the trophies in Help Wanted before security breach, because the trophies in Help Wanted work, and that is the last VHS tape there. I might as well eat you as well. Oh, I've I've gotten. I thought that for some reason, like when you oh, because I tried to eat it, therefore I pressed square, therefore I went back to the main menu. Jesus. Jesus Christ. You're a glitch in the game, mate. You should not freaking be here. Before I do anything else, let me go to this view and let's listen to the VHS tapes before anything suddenly happens, shall we? Tape number one. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room is I can a still mistake. hear Vanny. Oh, I Vanny's here. Hello. Away from the Great. Gameplay files, in a place that only a beta tester would look and in a place where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain or even understand for that matter. I wonder we're if this was like a big and out of time. idea they had quite a while ago. That's not that we're shutting down. Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are more. They may not be in order. Okay, great. I mean, hopefully they're in order if I just listen to them in I order. I saw for the first time today. There was a character I couldn't make out who it was, standing at the end of the hall. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. But then it was looking in the window, and not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. Can you actually see him looking in the window? I, I can just use the deep I heard a conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. Scott it Cawthon. really feels like this project is in trouble. I guess I mean she couldn't mention no Scott Cawthon, right? Because, because this is like a sure. death. There has to be a lawsuit. There's no way there isn't. I mean, Scott is it a character in, in the universe. It happened in just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong. Not freaking Jeremy. But as a death team, we all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known? Whereas many dev teams see that there's a problem and leave it. Tape have you four. ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? I do love how the whole up, premise of this game is like there's a glitch in the game, but it's equipment. actually meant to be a glitch in the game. I didn't and even the know same dev team the made room. the, I guess the at the time glitchy mess of security a lot breach. Of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. Used to do before Vanny killed him. The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I guess now I maybe when I eventually Queen replay either. Security Breach, no, I'll understand the story a bit more the after playing this one. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation, told us to scan it, Said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Looked pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then, he started appearing. At least that's what Jeremy said. Okay. The I came now. in early that morning. No one else was there. At least that's what I thought. The supply room was lit. I didn't even notice Jeremy standing in the testing room as I walked past. The supply room was so bright, glowing from all the way down the hall. Number Jeremy seven. complained of nightmares when he came in this morning. He wasn't talking about it like someone telling a friend about his dreams, though. He was pale. Looked like he hadn't eaten in days. He spent an hour talking in Dale's office, but it didn't look like he was given much sympathy. When he came out, he went directly back to the testing room. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. I'm literally doing that right now. 
I don't want to make a joke saying that like, the game doesn't scare me anymore either. But I'm also it. rocking from side to side. Am I Jeremy? Jeremy would need to be replaced soon. Oh, hopefully I'm not Jeremy. I don't want to be replaced. So I guess in this you can case, I don't work for Stillwall, so I guess I will be replaced. Because you can't be replaced from somewhere that you don't. Things. You're Making not facilitated sure to build with. a paper trail and make a case for a firing. Things that normally no one would care about suddenly become grave offenses, all worthy of being written and documented. I guess it works two ways, because it also encourages a person to quit rather than be scrutinized so heavily. I think Jeremy was too far gone to consider that option, though. The thing about it is that I don't think they were going to fire him because of anything he was doing wrong. They just knew he'd seen something. They needed to discredit him. Halfway through? Table number there nine. There was something that looked like a Halloween mask laying on the floor. I didn't understand. Ink must have spilled. It was only then that I heard a shuffle from the testing room and realized Jeremy must be there. I went back and peered in the window. I couldn't see his face. He had the visor covering his head. He had ink spilled on himself as well. The front ben of his D, shirt was that you? black in the dark room. He turned his head in my direction but I don't think he knew I was there. Okay, well, Bendy's in the universe now as well. I had three days to finish Jeremy's work, but I know it's just passing the time. They don't really Only a matter of time until anything. a freaking Huggy it's Wuggy makes an appearance in FNAF 11. Complete. We have to look like we have things under control. There's another potential development studio that wants to pick up from here, but who knows what kind of lies they're being fed to convince them to do it. Against my better judgment, I'm going to do my best to see what's here, make notes of it, and try to isolate where this thing is hiding. At least then, the next person that tests this will have a chance of getting rid of it. Okay. Get Today serious now. Today was my last day of beta testing, and the anomaly that I've been seeing is nowhere to be found. My last day of beta testing, and also my mic has defiance, increased by 15 decibels. It seems decibels. that it's attached itself to these logs. My logs. That can't be my wooden logs? How dare you? So now freaking I have to make a choice. Do I leave these logs here for you to find, or do I try to purge this thing myself by destroying the logs? You're asking I've this on log ladder. number ten or eleven, even. Log number ten is there, so clearly it's I not the one I'm listening that. to. By creating a protected area to store these logs apart from the game, I effectively store gave these this thing a safe place to hide itself. It's in here now. I may not be able to delete it. But I might I guess be able to do something else now that it's attached itself. Audio logs, video logs, and... An what does blogs stand for? First I went to like biological logs, so that makes no sense. They what lied does to B us. and blogs stand they for? They lied to all of us. They Surely it should be what logs, right? Like Britain logs? Game I don't know. Was to undo the bad PR done by a rogue indie game developer who supposedly made up a bunch of crazy stories that tarnished the brand. That old freaking Scott. At all. I knew in we should have fired that guy. In develop this VR game and clear their name, they sent us some things I don't think they intended us to see. Such as a hard drive containing emails between Fazbear Entertainment and a certain indie developer. Fazbear Entertainment hired the game developer. Those indie games were designed to conceal and make light of what happened. This isn't just an attempt to rebrand. It's an elaborate cover-up. A campaign to discredit everything. All right then. I ran a fragmentation program Did on the, the same area guy of memory work on that was storing these logs for you. I effectively broke the files into pieces and broke the anomaly along with it. That means that you won't have my warnings to guide you, but hopefully, it also means that this anomaly, this virus, or whatever it is, will remain broken and unable to do more damage. Ooh, we've only got two left. Hello. You don't know me. I had created a series of logs Imagine for you documenting Vanessa, right? the troubled development of this VR game that you're now testing, in hopes that you, whoever you are, and whatever team you are with, will abandon development. Now I fear that those logs are being used as a Trojan horse. If you are unable to abandon development, hide all traces of these logs that I've created. I fear that finding them and reassembling so them will also reassemble the, game, the very then? thing I've tried like so the desperately to destroy. Tester. And I guess that's why Vanny is still here. It wants to escape. 
to escape through someone. Please mention your Vanessa, that would be so cool. Someone plugged into this game. That's you now. You have to let it begin the process of leaving through you. Then use the disconnect switch that I've been at the main stage. Let it approach you. Let it begin to merge with you. Play the music and flip yeah. the switch. That will cause a hard restart of the game and flush the memory, effectively killing it. I hope. I don't know when it will come for you. I'm not going to mention my name. I need to merge with you, mate. And then that may makes a security breach of it eventually that's the correct way of saying that sentence i guess we do that now then so we what do we do i've already forgotten oh, i guess actually something else i can do go to the prize counter and have a look at this stuff that's been unlocked i have a funny boss exotic butters hell yes are you not gonna say exotic butters no okay I guess there wasn't a coin in the freaking bin there after all. So these three things are new. Good old Freddy Mask. You can have that, Vanessa. Good old 8 Ball. Does it work? No? Great. And we have Hopi as well. Oh god, you're very big. Wonderful. Oh, it's just randomly when you... Oh, okay, that's what I was doing wrong. I think it's randomly when you come out of the VHS place. He can be there. So I do it wrong. I, I, I pressed it once and then they kind of like reset the thing. So I pressed it again. Maybe waving in the other view. Oh, here we go. So I once. There. Showtime. Leave it. Don't do anything. Okay. Yes. I'm allowing you to merge with me, me being Vanessa. Yes, merge with me. Thank you. We are now one. I am now on the stage. Lovely. Is this correct? This has to be correct, right? And then I return to main menu and I guess that's just the end of it. Oh, what? I, I did it wrong. Okay, so the first time I just press, right? And then, yeah, here we go. So it's now, press. No! Was that still too early? So you press showtime and it stays pressed, apparently. Oh my god. Okay, then, like, when he puts his arm down there. So it's about there where other people pressed it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What, what am I doing wrong now? I cannot believe I'm still doing this. I cannot believe this is the thing that I've... This is the thing that I've been stuck on the most in the entire game. This simple. Three, four, five, six... Oh my god, I've done it. Oh my god, I've actually done it. I absolutely timed. He did it at six and a half seconds. I think I just fully, every time, just did it a bit too early. Oh, hello. Jesus Christ. You're right there, aren't you? Okay, sorry. My freaking video, though, mate. My two-hour recording session. Jesus Christ. That's it, isn't it? Oh, brilliant. How worth it was that? Oh, hello. Is that the actual end of it? <laughs> I don't know anymore with FNAF. Like, is that is that the actual end? Is, is there anything else that I do after that? So that, ladies and gentlemen, is where I'm going to end my series of Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. Obviously, we will eventually be doing Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, The Curse of Dreadbear. But this is the end of the main story of Help Wanted. Unless there's something with that Golden Bonnie figure that freaking Glitch Trap drops when he murders with me. I guess I, I'm i Vanessa, right? That would make sense because Vanessa, obviously, we know in... Or we learn in Security Breeze that Vanessa is Vanny or... I was about to say Vanessa. Vanessa is Vanny or Vanessa. Obviously, 
This character is called Vanny, she's called Vanessa, it's kind of similar. Him in the game here is called Glitch Trap, that was a glitch. He merges with someone called Vanessa, and then they merge both of their names and it, they become Vanny in Security Breach. So I'd imagine that either the woman on the tapes is Vanessa, or much more likely we are Vanessa. Obviously the game's been out for two and a half years, nearly three years, so we all know about this. I didn't know about this because I've just played it, I just wanted to give my feedback on what I believe is the correct thing. I'm awful at following a story, so me actually conjuring that together, and if that's correct, pat myself on the freaking back because I'm horrible at following a story of freaking Spongebob, pretty much, like I'm horrible at following any story. But that, ladies and gentlemen, all VHS tapes, all tokens, all of the stages done, both of the endings, and all of the trophies, if I didn't mention the trophies before. I think that's the five things. So that is, I hope, 100% every single thing and all of the prize counter stuff obviously all the trophies so that is there and we look at all of the no the um the gallery there's still eight things left locked that's interesting i'm not gonna be worrying about that now because i know in the dlc you're in the main place i believe you can go up to 80 coins as well so there's another 40 coins in the, uh, the Curse of Dreadbear. Don't know if there's VHSs or anything like that. But I have been literally streaming for two hours and two minutes now. Just on this freaking episode alone. That is insane. It, I mean, most of that was trying to actually activate the ending. That is so freaking convoluted if you don't know. To wait specifically six and a half seconds before you press the button. And I was pressing the button and then pressing showtime. You press showtime and then press the button on the freaking side of the monitor. I've worked out now. I guess the showtime show never happened for me. I know the showtime show is a rare thing. But that never happened. I guess I'll write down Showtime Show never happened and eight things or things locked in the gallery to do for Curse of Dreadbear. But I'm not going to do anything else for the main game. I will then buy the Curse of Dreadbear eventually and then we can eventually play through that. There will be, I imagine, five episodes for that, four episodes for the four stages and then one more episode like now of getting the rest of the coins in the VHS tapes, or I'll get all of the tokens in the VHS tapes at the end of it. Once again, coin, VHS tape, or coin, token, whatever you want to call them. That, ladies and gentlemen, ends my series, or ends this game of Five Nights at Freddy's. We've done Security Breach, so there is one game left. All we have left is Special Delivery is next, Five Nights at Freddy's 9. After that, we then go back to all of the spin-off games for NAF World. We have Freddy in Space 2. We have the weird security breach anime type game and i think that's the last three so i guess we got four games left in the series yes and i guess the security breach dlc is technically five games left in the series still despite this being the eighth game we have now played insane i guess there's 12 games in the universe then but that ladies and gentlemen ends my series on five nights at freddy's help wanted and ends this video of five nights at freddy's as usual, there'll be a link in the description if you want to check me yourself. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please do like and subscribe for our brand new, as we've always bossed that one. Thanks for watching, of course, as always. Peace.